Okay, you are Kerber from the company Filigrade. You, your presentation this morning was about how watermarks can help the plastic industry recycle their products. Tell me a little bit more. Indeed it was, and uh, what Filigrade does is that Filigrade brings watermarks into uh, bottles and we have there two methods for it. Uh, one is the model 2D with uh, labels and then it's printed and it's fully invisible. Or, and that's mostly, we bring in it in 3D into the bottles. Let me show you an uh, example of this. I have here a, a bottle yeah, and that's looking like an average PET bottle, but it is not. If uh, you look uh, quite well, then you can see perhaps that there are some little dots, some tiny dots on it, only 15 micrometer deep, and that's enough to make it readable. And once it's readable, then you can read it on the uh, waste belt. And on the waste belt, then we know exactly what bottle it is, who created it, yeah, what additives are used, and a lot more. So we can sort more properly. And better sorting means that we have more fractions with value and that means more money for the sorters of course but also quite less landfill less burning so it's far far better for the environment so you can actually see who has produced this bottle so this is a sort of a statistics also for the companies to know how much of their products are recycled sure sure that's that's a big uh, thing so uh, if you have two companies that uh, both are uh, uh, selling uh, waters for instance and one uh, has a uh, refresh rate about uh, 30% and the other uh, from 60% you can ask that company with the 30% why are you uh, so low on this yeah and this this uh, this watermark is is that uh, how is it produced is, is it in the mold or how is it yes yes we uh, we bring it into the mold so we have only once the cost for producing the, the watermark and then you can use as, as as much as you wish so you don't have cost on the individual bottles yeah also we can use some other materials let me show you yes as you see here we have some uh, some black uh, uh, PET and all sorters know black is very very difficult because you cannot use infrared for it but for us it's in fact the easiest one we can read it and do whatever it is so we know who could use this we know exactly how the black is in this uh, PET what kind of additives are used so we can sort even within black to so different blacks and then even black PET becomes worthful. It becomes, uh, it gets a value, so you can reuse it, for instance, for uh, creating dashboards in cars or whatsoever. So this can be used in more or less any plastic product, even in flexible films and so. Sure, sure. I show you. Even in flexible films. And uh, for the recyclers, what do they have to do to be able to read this? Well, they need, uh, of course, uh, some cameras, high-speed cameras, uh, some lighting for it, and uh, the, the normal uh, sorting machine builders will provide uh, this technology. So uh, we work uh, already with, uh, with Tomra, we work with Pelanc in uh, France, and uh, the, they will have that, uh, that opportunity to, to add it. But it's not, not very complicated, because it's just about a few cameras, uh, some light, and that's it. So it's not X-ray or a large development uh, or whatsoever. Mostly it's just an additional module. So, uh, I mean, the whole product is covered then with, with, with watermarks. Because I was yeah. thinking if, if something was covered on the, on the package, for example, with food or whatever, yeah. some residues, you can still find the watermark. Sure, sure. Let me pick the, the bottle again. Uh, you see here the watermark all over, in fact. So if this bottle is crinkled or distorted or dirty or whatsoever, there is always a spot readable. So this, the, the watermark is not on, only once in here, it's multiple, very often. And this is, uh, as far as I understand, it's quite a cheap technology. They, they only cost this when, when producing the mold then. In fact it is, and a little license fee, but the license fee is very, very low, as we want this uh, to be integrated in, uh, uh, in all uh, plastics in, the, in, in Europe and later on even in the world, because we want uh, plastics no longer be in the environment, no landfill, no oceans, no problems. And you also, you also mentioned something about the pet core and what they are doing. Yeah. Tell us more. 
Yeah, Petcor is a gremium of uh, a lot of companies, uh, both man manufacturers of uh, sorting machines, the sorters themselves, but also the brand owners. And they all together use have something with PET. They either use it or recycle it. And this gremium uh, is asked by the European Committee to uh, sort out to find out what method of sorting is the best. And nowadays only two uh, methods are left, the uh, chemical markers and, uh, and our uh, method. And uh, we think that our method is far better because after shreddering we don't have any residue. We don't need any chemicals. And with chemical sorting, in my opinion, you're solving a problem but you're creating a new one. And uh, for us this is mechanical, so you don't have that problem. Now we are talking about plastics. What about other packaging materials? Can it be used there too? Oh yeah, sure, sure. We, can, uh, we could use this also in, uh, on metal, uh, glass and of course printed, in print. So in all labels, well, we can do shrink sleeves, no problem. And that, that is, means that if you have, a, for instance, a bottle with a shrink sleeve, we print in the print on the shrink sleeve a watermark, but if the shrink sleeve is gone, then we have uh, a bot the bottle itself, and there we also have a watermark. So we always know who produced this bottle.